It's the game the world is looking at right now. Currently, countless new players are joining the open world of Sanctuary, looting the best they can. To make your next legendary adventure a blast, we have compiled 12 crucial Diablo 4 tips for you that will help to start your journey in the best possible way as a beginner. But before we start, there is a raid we need to help with. The level 1337 YouTube algorithm and boss. Join the war by liking this video, subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications. Thanks for your support and let's start with tip number 12. Optimize your settings. Hell yeah! A vast open world awaits you with all those nasty dungeons, helltides, sacred items and wait, not so fast. What's the first thing to do? That's right, optimize your settings. You want to ensure you can see, hear and better understand everything. Let's have a look at the most important things. In the options under graphics, we recommend setting sharpen image to 10 and the cursor scale to large. This way you will always maintain sight of your indicator even in heavy battles. Under sound, it is also essential to tweak item drop sounds to avoid missing any critical loot. Make sure that in-game loot sounds and play audio on ambient loot are checked and their minimum quality is set to magic or even higher. That way you only hear the better loot dropping and honestly that's the only thing you want to hear. <laughs> Furthermore, in the gameplay options, you should definitely turn on advanced tooltip compare and advanced tooltip information to not only compare the primary attributes of your items, but significantly more information like gained and lost attributes. We also recommend setting item label display to push to toggle on off so that the display above the items don't disappear. You can always toggle them by pressing a button. On PC, it is Alt. Also, you should turn on display player highlights for better visibility, differentiation and brighten the colors for each. We recommend that you set your enemies to different color instead of red to make them easier to spot because in Diablo so many things are in that color already. Now you are well prepared to step into the mighty world of Diablo 4, let's talk about orientation with number 11 in our Diablo 4 tips, use the map marker. Who can do without GPS nowadays? In Diablo 4, the map marker helps you enormously to get from A to B in a relaxed way. Just click on the desired location on the map and the optimal route will be displayed. A must have also for groups to quickly and easily get to places. Let's jump to tip number 10, take it easy with your skills. Each class has its own skill tree with many different ways to unlock. But in Diablo 4, you don't have to worry about choosing the right ones because you can refund them to choose another option. Option. This gives you a lot of room to experiment and the best, you don't have to wait for the next level. Up until level 10, the refund is even free. Well, after that, gold is required and the amount increases with every point you spend in the tree. But the prices are bearable in this respect. Next up in our Diablo 4 tips, number 9. Town portals are your faithful companion. If you want to get back to town after completing a quest or during a boss fight, you can save a lot of time using the town portals. These bring you back quickly and for free. It's an excellent way to empty your inventory and return to action through the blue portal. Tip number 8. Set your items to junk. Is your inventory bursting all the time? To get rid of useless things for your next run as quickly as possible, mark all items you don't want as junk on PC by hitting space. You can quickly sell it to the merchant by right clicking. However, we recommend recycling the junk at the blacksmith to get the necessary crafting materials for your future game. Tip number 7. Mapgenie.io is your Diablo 4 guide. To always have a good overview of everything in D4, you should definitely use the map from mapgenie.io. It contains all the vital information you need. We recommend deactivating everything first and then reactivate only the relevant things for you, such as dungeons, strongholds or waypoints. It's best to log into the site. This way you can mark areas with found and thus create a personal checklist for yourself. Next, we have tip number 6. Exit dungeons quickly. Dungeons can have many levels. Levels and you want to avoid walking the long way back. Only sometimes you get a shortcut out after defeating a boss. If you're unlucky, just open the dungeon map and click on the entrance icon to immediately teleport back outside to the dungeon's entrance. You also find it in your emote wheel. 
Problem solved. Tip number five, use the new stagger system. There is a mechanic in Diablo 4 most players don't even know exists, which is staggering. When you're in a boss fight, you'll see an inconspicuous yellowish bar just below the boss's health that starts from the center and fills outward as you crowd control it, fighting it with debuffs and elemental effects like stun or frost. When the bar is complete, it turns green for a considerable time. During this phase, the enemy is stunned and you can damage it without any problem. Problems. Number 4 of all Diablo 4 tips. Always make treasure goblins your first priority. Do you see a trail of gold or this icon on the minimap? Then the treasure goblin is probably very close to you. Be sure to follow because it drops a bunch of gold and lots of gear when you defeat it. However, it can take a lot of damage and won't stop running away from you. You can steer into one or the other mob, but stay focused. In the end, neat loot is waiting for you. Let's continue with number 3. Meet the purveyors of curiosities for legendaries. Like Kadala in D3, the purveyor of curiosities in Diablo 4 grants you randomized rare or legendary loot in exchange for a currency called Murmuring Opals. Purveyors can be found in every major capital city. You get Murmuring Opals by completing randomized events in dungeons or public events in the open world. The perfect method to farm nice gear and another reason to attend all events and have them on your radar. Tip number 2. Leave aside the side quests. It sounds like a cute play on words, but seriously, when you roam through Sanctuary, you will come across many side quests you can accept. What most people don't know, however, is that there is a cap of 20. And once this limit is reached, you cannot accept any more of these. And not only that, even dropped items for side quests can no longer be picked up. This means you must spend much time making room in your quest inventory by completing old side quests you don't want to do. To avoid this mess and save time, it's best to ignore them first, explore the world and complete them later. Or at least always keep an eye on your cap and think twice before accepting. Now let's hop to Diablo tip number one. Whispering Keys Another good reason to visit the purveyor of curiosities is the Whispering Key, which he sells cheaply. It's best to always have a few in your inventory because you can open silent chests in Sanctuary with them. These chests drop random items and if you're lucky, you get fantastic loot. Check! Nice. That's it with the best Diablo 4 tips for beginners. Did we miss any? We're looking forward to a comment. If you like or dislike this video, show it with your thumb and expect more videos soon. For more content updates, check out our website yourgames.tv and follow us on Twitter at yourgtv. See you in the next one, ballers!